Hey everyone, in this video we have a GPS City exclusive first look at the Garmin Forerunner 920 XT. And I want to show this to you in comparison to some prior generations of the Garmin Forerunner and take a look at some of the physical differences between these watches. So here we have the 920 XT. This is a multi-sport training watch, and we'll start by comparing it to the Garmin Forerunner 305. There is a definite similarity in the layout of the buttons here. So you have the push buttons on either side of the watch. You have the start, stop, and the lap buttons down at the bottom. Main difference between them is that in comparison, the Forerunner 305 is enormous. This is going to take up a lot of room on your wrist. So over the years, uh, we have slimmed down these watches quite a bit. Let's take a look at the Forerunner 310 XT. So this is a step in the right direction, a little smaller and a little bit lighter than the Forerunner 305. This is a multi-sport training watch. Both of these are. You have a similar button layout on the sides as well as on the the bottom, uh, but you do have a difference in the bands between these two. So on the 920 XT and on some of the later ones we'll get to, we have a hinge here on the top and bottom that's going to allow it to lay flat on your wrist. 310 XT, a little bit different. We have one hinge, but the other one is fixed down at the bottom, so that is not going to get uh, quite as flat when you are wearing it. This is the Forerunner 910 XT. A display on the 910 XT is a little bit larger than that on the 920 XT, but as a result, the watch itself is a little bit larger. It's a little bit heavier. It's going to take up a little bit more room on your wrist as well. Uh, the 910 XT has a black and white display. 920 XT is color, and it does lack those advanced metrics. So with the Forerunner 920 XT, you have the option to add the Garmin HRM Run. That's going to give you features like ground contact time and vertical oscillation. The 910 XT does not have support for those advanced metrics. Here we have the Garmin Forerunner 620, and this is going to give us those advanced metrics. Also with the addition of the HRM run, it has a color display, a little bit smaller than that of the 920. This uses a combination of push button and touchscreen interface. The Forerunner 920 XT is push button only, but this is a running watch only. It's a really good running watch, but it is not going to give you that support for swimming and cycling. Uh, the 620 is also not going to give you the smart notifications that the six or that the 920 can give you. The 920 you can pair with your Bluetooth enabled smartphone. It will alert you of incoming calls, texts, and emails. The 620 does not have that function. Finally, the last one we have here is the Phoenix 2, and although we're mainly focusing on the physical differences in this video, uh, the Phoenix 2 is about as close in features as you are going to get to the 920. Uh, it has support for those advanced running metrics, it's going to give you the smart notifications, its size is comparable, uh, the Phoenix 2 is a little bit thicker and it actually is about an ounce heavier. The layout of the buttons on the Phoenix 2 is a little bit awkward. Uh, you actually have your arrow buttons here on the side and then your start stop button up here in the corner. The 920 XT is almost the opposite where you have the arrow buttons over on the other side and then start and stop down on the bottom. Now there are a few features that the 920 XT has that the Phoenix 2 still lacks. Uh, for one, the 920 XT is going to give you a running metronome. It has a cycling VO2 max estimate when you use it with a heart rate monitor and a power meter. Uh, the 920 XT, you can upload your data to Garmin Connect through Wi-Fi, and the 920 is also going to give you activity and step tracking like the Vivo Fit and the Vivo Smart are going to give you, and the Phoenix 2 does not have any of those features. So that is a quick comparison of the physical differences between the Garmin Forerunner 920 XT Multi-Sport Training Watch and some previous versions in the Garmin Forerunner series.